da 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 Oh, um, hello loyal viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World, and this is part 29. Uh, I'm Digital Insanity, and, uh, we're almost done with Special World. We're on Mondo, so let's get this over with. Alright, back to this extremely flooded world. A bit strange. Then again, all the worlds and, uh, levels in Special World are extremely strange in some way. Get some coins. Kill you. Uh, Alright, let's try and get through here. And yep, I decided to make another video really quickly because I didn't want you guys to think I had uh, caused yet another long delay. And uh, speaking of delays, if you, if any of you uh, have seen uh, Durden77's videos, uh, he hasn't made a video in three weeks by now. I don't know what's happened to him. I, he's still alive, I know that, but... Uh, uh, He's been, uh, he just hasn't made a video in a while. Maybe it's because of slowdown or something. But, uh, I'm not sure. There's got to be a reason he hasn't made a video in a while. Now nah, I just won't question him. I won't, I won't bother him or anything. Oh, oh crap. No, please don't. Yes. Hate those black piranha plants. Those things piss me off. Oh, multiple coin box. Get much coins, Mario. Crap, those fish are just waiting to kill me. Look, they're trying to act like I could just kill them by going belly up, but no. I'm smart. I can see past their unclever ways. Oh, now I can kill this one. There we go. Oh, check this out. Epic. Oh, crap, I see the hammer bro up ahead. The flying hammer bro. I can fly too, bitch. See that? You don't have a Yoshi that you can fly with, and I do. Wow, that level was easier than I thought it would be. All right, let's, let's try and get a lot of points. Let's go. Go Mario. Ah, 29. Good enough. So I looked at I looked back at some of my older videos, and I noticed that uh, I haven't always talked about uh, there's there are times when I uh, get off topic about Super Mario World and I talk about other stuff. Uh, outrageous. So I, I think I'll uh, try and fix that. I'll try to talk about uh, Mario a bit more in further videos. When I do my next play, I'll talk about uh, specifically that game a bit more. But uh, I, I will talk about other video games a few times, but I do want to uh, make sure I stay focused up about talking on the game that I'm uh, playing the most. But uh, anyways, uh, let's go. Before we do, what, what are those colored things up there? I have no clue what those things are. It's weird. Oh, we're in an autumn-themed level. Interesting. Holy crap, fire. Start a forest fire. That's right, Yoshi. Carry the thing. Carry the... forget what it's called. Whatever you do, don't swallow it. Please. Don't be a dumbass like... You. Oh, f for God's sake. There we go. Alright, spit it out. Holy crap, that wiggler's pissed in. God damn it. Whoa. <laughs> did, did you just see that? Did, did you see that? Go back a few seconds and watch that closely. I died and Yoshi came with me. That was a classic moment. That was classic right there. That. <laughs> wow. I've never seen that ever happen before when playing this game. Mario was dying. He's like, Yoshi, I'm... Fuck. Right when he died, he's like, Yoshi, bitch, I'm taking you with me. I'm taking you to hell with me. I'm dragging you to the bottom of the screen with me. Heh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, that's never happened to me before. It's pretty funny. Alright, let's get the mushroom. Let's go, Mario. Take the trampoline with you. Oh. In uh, other news, yes, I'm going to talk about other video games in just a bit. Uh, uh, I got the Xbox Live port of Banjo Kazooie. It's shit. It's not quite a port. They did change a, a few small things with the menus and stuff, but besides that, it's the exact same great game. In some ways, it's a slight bit better because you know it's in HD. So uh, it's actually a little bit better than the crap N64 version just because of the extra additions. It's it's a uh, Huh, my voice is on. My voice sounded weird there. Uh, it uh, 
it's actually pretty good. So uh, if you played the original or if you never did, then I highly recommend that you get it because, uh, you know, it's good. The only thing that I don't really like about it is, uh, get this, in, in the level Clanker's Cavern, uh, the level that scarred me for life when I was a small child with the huge fangs of Clanker greeting me whenever I entered the level. Uh, they made it so when you swim deep, deep, deep underwater in that level, they made it so creepy music plays in the background. I have no clue why they did that. It's just creepy music that they added. I have no idea why they did it, but they just added extra music. I personally hate that they did that, but uh, uh, it may not creep a lot of people out, but it creeped me out a bit, so... I guess Rare is just trying to remind me of how much I hated that level as a kid. I'm trying to bring back the horrible memories. I'm trying to bring back the horrible memories. Thank you, Rare. You truly are the greatest video game company ever. Not. You used to be. You've changed. You're not quite the same as you used to be, Rare. I mean, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts was definitely a good game, but it just wasn't on par with the previous two games. I really hope that if uh, Rare makes another Banjo-Kazooie game, which I don't know if they'll get to because Nuts and Bolts hasn't sold that well so far, uh, they make it a platforming game because that would have sold better because that's what the Xbox 360 really needs. They need a platforming game. I mean, the only really original Xbox platformer I can think of right now would be Psychonauts, but that was also released for... Oh, skills. That was also released for like a PS2 and GameCube, I think, so... Uh, that's what Rare really should have done. It would have done Xbox 360, 360 good, because, you know, they need a platformer, and I can't really think of any that they have. And it definitely would have sold better. Huh, how do I... Oh, I get it. Crap. Ah, oh, God, I get it. Come on. Fire him out. Come on. What? Are you kidding me? Seriously? Right when I stand right in front of you? I... Uh... Next take. Let's try again. Uh... Wow. I bet you guys just laughed really hard right now. At my... Uh... Bullet bills. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm trying to complete this level. But you guys are laughing at my horrible misfortune of playing through this game. Life is hard. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Uh, I'll just get you. Just in case. Okay. Motherfucking bullet bill. Please don't kill me. Even though I just called you a motherfucker. Ah. Mario, jump farther. I know you can do it. You can do triple ju jumps in Super Mario 64. Why can't you do them in this game? Alright, that's because you learn them. Because Mario 64 came out after this, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Alright, dodge the fire. Hol holy crap. They're getting serious here. They're like, Mario must die. He must not leave this forest alive. This is an outrageously insane level filled with killer terrorist bullet bills and caterpillars and fire of all things. Yoshi coins and it's autumn and trampolines. Very outrageous indeed. For once they got the level name right. It's not something retarded like Mondo or Groovy, which I still hate that name for a level. Because, you know, who the hell says Groovy anymore? Come on, get up there. Jump up. Okay, what the hell's with that? What's the point of those blocks? Oh, oh, I get it. I had to bring the trampoline all the way over here. I get it. Alright, that was the trick. Alright, you know what? The video's almost over, but next video, I'll do that next time to try and get through this level, so. Alright, next time on Let's Play Super Mario World, we get up this freaking pipe.